going off like fucking COD in there. <laughs> like they say, oh fuck you, ha ha, nay, ee, nay, nay, ah, you fucking, ah. <laughs> you look like something out of fucking some messed up horror movie, you know, your fake hair. Even the big beefy mofos, you know, the ones that go to the gym and all the top half of their bodies hench, but their legs are skinny. <laughs> Even they crumble under the pressure of power of the boom boom. It's that special muscle, they know they got it, they all, they got it, I can see them all sitting there going, you know. <laughs> you, I saw you smiling, I can still hear you over there going, uh -huh. <laughs> So powerful, it's like it goes to the gym. So be worried, you know, she's got power to pump them on you. And remember, it's, it's early days yet. And we always come up with that same shit. You know what I mean? Power to pump them. We go up to the women afterwards and we go, so sorry. And all the men know you've used this line before. You go, you know, you know what it is that made me come quick? It's because you're so beautiful. <laughs> Girls are not like that though. So any white guys in there that's going for a black girl, don't do it. They're fucking ruthless. You come quick and she's phoning, texting, emailing, Facebooking, Twittering, everybody that she knows, all her friends. Yeah, two minutes. Yeah. Don't, don't wait, don't touch me. I'm still texting. That's how they are. See, I you know you're more forgiving, I can tell just by your smile. You go, no, 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 don't worry, you've come already, don't worry. Don't worry. We can do it again. And they're accommodating. You need to start stroking it, innit? You'll start stroking it for me, should I? Um, um, um. See? Not black girls. They'll just go, I'm not touching it. It's got, no, something's dripping now. Mm -mm. No, I'm not, mm -mm. I'm not touching that. Fuck. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And they're scared of sex. They're scared of sex, black girls, because it goes in their hair. You know what I mean? And they can't wash their hair as often. Because yeah, oh, if it gets in their hair, they wash it, it turns into this thing called pepper grain. It's, you know, this thing called afros, like popcorn. So they kind of avoid it. I'm not watching you. Stop using the power of the pum pum to keep. Don't leave it. Leave it. Is that your boyfriend? Just your friend? Is that how you're going on? Power of the pum pum. <laughs> See? Just grab a man at will and then let him go. You're just a friend. Grab anyone. You're just a friend. What's your favorite position? Do you know yet? You got one. What's your favorite one? Doggy. What? A lot of man like doggy. Yeah. Rah. I like the bronco. The bronco. It's where it's like doggy from behind. What you do is you interlock your legs, make her do most of the work. Interlock your legs over hers, so you're riding, and you just got it just in like that, and you like that. So you hold like that. Hold on to the hair. Not black girls. You can't do this with black girls because when you do it, the hair comes out. Oh shit. You end up falling off and rocking up yourself. Yeah? But you can hold on like that. Just hmm. Hmm. It's bronco. Hmm. Like that. Every so often you can slap the batty. Slap the batty. You can grab the breast. You can do everything. You know what I mean? And then if you really want to get more motion out of her, just go. So it's your sister singles. Look, watch her fucking get mad. You're like, yeah. Fuck her, yo. Fuck her, all that. <laughs> I might, my things ain't big. So, so you know, I've got. Small things. Oh, I know, I don't mind. They call it a shroom. Because it's small and stumpy, it looks like a mushroom. You know what I mean? You know when you go to, to Ikea and you get those sweeties, those mushroom flump shit thing? That's how my peanut is. It's like it's got this, you know, this, this big head on the end. Doesn't look natural, it looks like I've had operation. Well, I did. Fell off a bike as a child. I was on a little striker. My mum didn't have enough money for a grift, I slipped off the <laughs> mesh of my things. Had to have it surgically stitched up. But it, it, it worked for tonight. If that's still alright with you, power the pom pom. <laughs> Monkey magic. <laughs> uh, I mean. <laughs> oh, look at that picture they got of me. They couldn't get one with my head look smaller. Shit. Yeah. I got a comic that's coming on, because as I said, I'm just your host for today. And um, he's really good. He's fun in a bumblecle, and um, he's like doing his UK tour right now around Canberra Sands. 
He's here for one night and one night only. And I, I want you to give up a big round of applause for him because he spent five hours in the car only eating porridge to get here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise, girls and boys. For the one, you love that deep voice and it went to my speech, you'll pump up my speech to me like that. For the one, the only, Red Bull King himself, the one they call Kane Brown! Yes! I thought there was a DJ and everything. This is bullshit. There's nothing. But this, D this DJ is here though, yeah? They couldn't get one fucking DJ to play a track to bring me out to. Then I come here, this miserable guy sitting there staring at me with his arms folded and shit. Was fucking hell. Five hours, he ain't joking. Five hours I was in the car driving here to get to you fucking pissheads. That's it. Look at it. This is lovely, man. Look at that. All them drinks. I love it, brother. What are you drinking? All right, he's put the music on now. Too fucking late. Give it back. Yeah, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna bring me on again and the energy level is gonna come back up again. Is that all right? That's all right, isn't it? We're gonna, we're gonna get the energy up. I know it's early. Come on, start again. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise, girls and boys. You've seen him here before because he's only just left the stage. But he's back on his UK tour, making sure that you go raw. The one, the only, Don Dada when it comes to shaving his head, is the one they call King Brown. That, yeah, that, feels, that feels nice now, I feel welcome. Where's the black people in there anyway? What the, what have you not done with them? I, you know black people got to get their sleep in it. You don't know fuck about fuck it, I'm on it, fuck it now. Put on the 48 hour deodorant in it just to make sure. Fuck it, I've got another six hours, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, but black people are in their bed now. They don't they don't mess around, man. So bro, you look a bit young. You're 23, you look young, man. You've got black jeans, man. Keep it going, bro. You look young, man. This is good, man. Any like Cat was asking, are there any couples in there? Seriously, any couples? I won't pick on anyone, but them two. That's the worst porno movie ever, isn't it? Look at that shit. No, man, this is, this is nice, man. Like, I was in a long-term relationship. Like, I don't know who's been in a long-term relationship. You look like you've been in a long-term relationship. They're fucking hard. It's hard when you're in a relationship. But John, he's on his phone, I like this. Who are you talking to? Who are you texting? He, he's not even listening, look at this shit. The drugs are talking to him. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> bro, this ain't a dream. This is real, bro. This is real. <laughs> that can fix that. <laughs> oh, no, uh. <laughs> He's fucked. He's fucked. What's your name, bro? What's your name? Gary. Gary. Dirty Harry. Harry. Make some noise for Dirty Harry. Yeah. Yeah. On his phone. He don't care, boy. That's what, that's what I like. Don't give a shit, man. You're a happy man. You're happier than me, bro. That's right, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Harry is serious. But no, serious, like, because I find relationships are hard, man. Like, he, he seems quite happy. I was with my ex for 13 years. Yeah. I know you fuckers don't believe me, what a black man in a 13 year relationship. He's a fucking liar. He's a liar. But I know I was. And we used to argue about silly things. Like, women, I find, you know, like clean freaks. You don't want everything clean and tidy. She used to complain. All the time about a dirty plates in the sink and shit like that. What? What? Your one? Is she? Is she clean or dirty? Thanks for getting involved. You wanna come on the stage as well, dirty Harry? Jesus Christ! This <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> you think it's a tag team? He thinks it's wrestling and shit. Yeah, tag me! Tag me! I'll get in. We used to argue all the time about all the stupid things like washing up plates late at night. I don't understand. Why do women complain? Oh, you better make sure you wash up before I go to bed because you know I can't sleep properly with dirty plates in the seat. What the fuck is that about? Well, if you stay up, then you're stupid, bitch. I'm going to my bed. <laughs> Fucking bitch, that shit. I've had enough of this, man. You know, you know what I'm saying, didn't you, Dirty Harry? Had enough, man. I live by myself now, so I'm happy. Will the single guys make some noise? Yeah. Yes! We're happy. Even the girl said it. She said, fuck it, I don't care. I sit at home with my fucking rabbit touching myself. I don't care. My house is full of dead batteries. I like that, girl. But no, it's like, you know, I live by myself and I, I don't wash up straight away. Sometimes when guys, we don't, we don't really wash up straight away. We need to pop some plates in the sink to soak. 
for a little bit. You know, you, you put a bit of washing up liquid and some water in there, innit? You know, he's leaving it. Sometimes you walk past the sink after three days, you're like, shit, that need another day or two. This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Are we taking we take it too far sometimes. You ever been in your house and run out of everything? You know when you use up all your utensils? It's fucked up, innit? It's fucked sometimes I don't wash up till I'm eating my porridge out of a wine glass with a fork, you know? <laughs> Listen, this, I'm a pig, I hate myself, I hate. <laughs> But no, uh, I went into the toilet and that cat was saying when you look wipe your ass, somebody has destroyed the middle cubicle. I don't know who it is. Do they serve curry or up here? I don't know, because I'm telling this person destroyed it. It is terrible. Because you know when you go for a hit, what you don't do is arch your back. Because you know how it fires backwards, doesn't it? It fires back, you can't do that. So you have to keep your back straight so it goes straight down. And then you wipe your ass. Who checks the tissue when they wipe their ass? Who looks at the tissue? Do you look at the tissue, Blondie? Good girl, I like that. She's got clean ass. Look how she's just sitting there relaxed. Look, yes, okay. My ass is clean and I fem fresh the front as well. I like that shit. <laughs> no, because like, you know, you've got to wipe your ass, but you've got to check the tissue. You've got to, you've got to grade it as well, innit? Nope, not yet. Grade it, Barely. Almost there. And you think you've got one more wipe, innit? And then a whole load of shit come from nowhere. You're like, what the fuck did that come from? Like your ass has got a secret compartment just hiding the shit. It's strange, man. But I've got kids, love my boys, man. Like, any parents in here today? Yeah. You've got a child for Harry. Fuck it now. This world is fucking destroyed, mate. Oh my God. Bro, have you got a daughter or son? You got a son? Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Cause I wouldn't want the baby going back to his house and him looking after it. Granddad, fuck off, I'm drinking. So yeah, so that's all right. I don't, I don't feel too bad now. But like my kids now, like my eldest is um, 13, and I've got twins. They're 11. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell, you old cunt. Now it's called being black, brother. We don't crack. That's what I'm saying. How old do you think I am? How old do you think I am? 32. 32. You're a fucking arsehole, mate. <laughs> no, but that, to be honest, sometimes that's what gets me into trouble as well, because I don't look my age. And my problem is, I always end up dating girls that are a lot younger than me. Like, they might be like um, 22, but they don't know how old I am. So, they, uh, so how old are you, Mr. Funny Man? I said, take a guess, babe, take a guess. You know women? <laughs> 25. I said, oh shit, got it in one. You're good. You're good. Because by the time she finds out how old I am and sees the grey hairs, because I've got a couple of greys down there, she's back in my bedroom naked, ready to have sex. You know when they see the grey hairs down there, they're like, grey hair? Shut up, too late. You should have asked for ID. Hold that, take the black man's dick. Fucking 25, fuck that. Getting old, man. But like I said, my kids, my kids are getting older. I have them at my house at the weekends, and it's kind of weird, because they've got to that selfish age. You know when they do things like put empty drink cartons back in the fridge? Jesus Christ. You know you go in the fridge and the Tropicana, there's like this much drink in there. That shit upset me. I turned line them up the other day. I said, oi, come here. Which one of you fuckers put the empty drink carton in the fridge? And like one of the twins, ah, oh, daddy, it was me, but there's drink in there. I said, come here. 